Uh, g'day, Dave Spicer here. Uh, so, just filming a job I did last year, um, about this time. The old spillway was on the other side of the dam wall there. We terminated that um, and we brought the new spillway out here in a back flood swale. Uh, it goes up around there. There's two spillways. Uh, one's an emergency spillway before the crossing pipe, really important. And the primary spillway is on the other side of the crossing pipe, which is the driveway, which I'll walk up in a minute and have a look. But just wanted to check how the system was going. Now, obviously, there's got to be tree systems put on the swales, uh, but the earthwork itself is performing really well and the client's happy, which is great. The dam is up there that we were just looking at. Um, our emergency spillway is in line with the white car up there. Um, our crossing pipes on, underneath the road there. Our primary spillway is here. So the design was to take water from that dam, which was going down into an eroded water course um, with a pretty serious set of head cuts, working its back up, way back up to the dam. So sort of the design was to take water from that dam in a back flood swale, so it harvests water to the dam, but it is like a shock absorber and big events, water can come back up. Sheets over the primary spillway on this side of the road with my finger, um, reaches 100 mil, can go over that side on the emergency spillway into this lower swale here. Um, so primarily it comes down on that side of the road into this small dam here. Now, originally the spillway just went straight over um, into the little valley here. Um, so we connected up a back flood swale again, um, which that's the primary spillway on the other side of the dam wall there. Um, but a back flood's up here underneath the road again in a 300 mil pipe, and there's an emergency spillway just uh, over there. So again, it goes over 100 mil over the primary spillway, um, but when it have a big rain event, it goes over the emergency spillway, and apparently it works beautiful. I haven't seen uh, material of it in full flood, but the clients are very happy and have been observing it over the last 12 months, and there is no issues, there's no sign of erosion, which is just fantastic. Uh, so here we are on the road, and it's got a lovely crown shape, so water sheets off either side. Um, you don't risk water tracking down the road itself. Um, we've put a bit of pattern into it, um, so it's not a straight line. Uh, of course it's going to be treed up on the sides, um, and it's quite a aesthetic, um, functional beauty I call it. So I'm standing here at the primary spillway, the swale's terminated up there. Uh, so it rains, uh, water comes through the pipe just there, um, underneath the road, um, from the dam up there, the emergency spillway is just up there that you can see. Uh, so when this spillway, the primary spillway, reaches 100 millimetres going over that, the emergency spillway kicks in over there. Um, because when you put a pipe in a water system like this, you risk, um, you've got a choke point. So it's a good design addition is to just to place an emergency spillway. And that can be just 50 mil, 20 mil higher than your primary spillway. So I'm standing here at the emergency spillway. Uh, as you can see, just up there on the road is a pipe going uh, underneath the road, a swale. And on the other side is the uh, primary spillway. So primary spillway is 100 mil lower uh, than the emergency spillway here. Um, <clears throat> so when a big event comes and that pipe there, which is 300 mil, gets full of water, the water doesn't um, back up and risk going over the dam or blowing out the swales, can just sheet over this emergency spillway. So it's kind of a funky way of just putting an insurance policy on things. Now this is pretty impressive to have water sitting here for uh, all year. Now this is their driest time, just before the wet season. 
um, as you can see by marks in this back cut of the swale there it does fluctuate a little bit but it's held water there's good clay underneath so but it's created a beautiful edge um, and you can see it from Google Earth which is kind of awesome okay so we're here at the a little crossing dam now well, there was a 300 mil pipe in this gully which continuously washed out um, and blocked the access in big events um, so we designed in a little crossing dam now this certainly turned the problem into the solution um, give all weather access with a causeway here or a level seal causeway um, but created a, a beautiful habitat for wildlife um, in this riparian zone uh, it's actually switching because we've, we've held moisture in the valley it's actually switching from a, a dry uh, valley with seasonal flow to a permanent water source and turning back to rainforest species uh, the local land care officers come out and say to the client do not touch this this is absolutely fantastic and that's through good design by placing a little crossing dam now I installed this crossing dam uh, for cheaper than a cost to put the pipe in um, so it took about two and a half thousand dollars uh, thereabouts to build this little crossing dam um, it's made it functional we've also put in a different access um, up the hill and um, down from the front entrance but you can see just what uh, good design good placement of elements changes the dynamics of the site and how much we've increased the biodiversity as well as beauty um, the clients are absolutely wrapped they've planted bamboo on the dam wall uh, which again is going to secure the integrity of the dam wall it's got a meter free board so from the bottom of the crossing here which is the spillway to the top of the dam wall is a meter so there's no risk of water ever going over the dam wall um, etc uh, very happy great to see now we're standing in the tail back of the dam um, we can see the dam wall uh, in between the trees there and just because of the placement we managed to actually back water all the way up this little valley a good 50 meters um, so just incredible amount of habitat and edge that we've created and microclimate and and the rainforest species have come back in um, and it's really changed the dynamics of this sort of dry eucalypt forest system into the start of a rainforest again which is very rewarding work uh, I'm really really happy it's pretty cool but the habitat alone you know the biology that's going on the insect life um, is really cool